Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Isabel and um, today's the 20th of February and we're gonna cash stuff $840 and this is after, you know, like we pay all our bills and stuff. Um, so this is sinking funds, savings challenges, things, the trip that we're saving for at the end of the year and that kind of stuff. So, let's get to counting, shall we? So, we've got um, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 30, Seven sixty eight sixty, and that's right. It is eight hundred and sixty dollars, not eight hundred and forty dollars, because I had to add an extra twenty dollar sinking fund that we'll talk about in a in a minute. Anyways, I hope everyone's doing well and isn't as forgetful as I am. So, so this is my wallet. So in here is, you know, like all my, my, like my driver's license and my personal stuff. And this here is where I keep all my cash. Um, so I got this from Cash Queen Budgets. I'll link her down below if I, if I remember. <laughs> this is um, the change bit. Um, I'm doing a challenge here 2024 and 2024 from the art of budgeting and one of them has a coin challenge in it so I'm just gonna pull the coins out for now and we'll deal with that a little bit later when we go to her binder I hope it's not too noisy I apologize in advance So for my cash categories, I have them split up like most people do. Groceries gets um, $150 a week. In 50s, fuel gets $40 a week. So um, personal gets $15 a week, but what I do is that if I don't use it, I take it out of my binder and I put it in a personal binder that I um like build up the money for. So I'll just leave this 15 here and I'll pull 15 from here so that we can stuff that later. Health um, gets 25. And I just let this build up because um, I, oops, because my prescriptions every month are about a hundred dollars. Yeah, so, and right around the time it gets to a hundred, it's about time to refill my scripts. With beauty, I do the same as personal. I put ten dollars a week. If I don't use it, I put it in my personal binder. So I'll just put this week's ten dollars to the side so that we can stuff it later. Eating out gets $50. My husband and I, we do pizza Friday, every Friday. And then miscellaneous gets $10 a week. And I just let that, there's and there's $10 in here already. And I just let that build up every week so that like if I need extra fuel or you know, if um, I go over on my prescriptions 
or something there's just like that little bit of buffer there so that's my personal wallet done and dusted for the week i can put that away for now so then okay this is like i said that's like binder 1a this is binder 1b so my um dad unfortunately passed away very suddenly in september and um in december of this year 2024 we're gonna have a memorial service for him in key west and in case you noticed these are australian bills so i do live here in australia um and the rest of my family lives in the united states so since october i've been saving up money so that my husband and i are able to go to my father's memorial service in december um so far we've been able to um put the down payment on the house that we're renting for the week in key west we've been able to hire the charter that we're going to use my dad was cremated and he wanted his ashes scattered and um we've been able to book our flights so um this money is you know we still have to pay for other things while we're out there so this money is to help um pay oh sorry about that is to help pay for that trip so this um challenge here i got from boss girl budgets and um yeah I, I started it in november and i've just been saving so um january had five weeks that's why i'm a little bit ahead here in february which i don't mind i'd rather be ahead than behind especially when it comes to my dad so this week gets 110 so 110 goes in here and that is probably my most important savings challenge for this year that I'm saving for. All right, so the next savings challenge that I'm working on is um, the 2024 and 2024. Again, this money is going towards um, the trip in, in December um i just want to make sure everything is paid off so that you know we don't have to use credit cards and stuff to to pay for the trip sorry i just need to make some room here i'm sorry for the shaking hang on i have to move rexy out of the way rexy i'm sorry all right, and I got this one from The Art of Budgeting. So in this last, oh my God, I'm so sorry for the shaking. You could tell I'm like not used to doing this stuff, okay? So this last page here is um, the coin one, and this is where I count the coins and see where I'm at. So let me pull this one out, and then the coins go into Rexy, the dino, she's a, <laughs> she's a piggy bank. See? All right. Any, anyway, okay. So here we got, <laughs> we got six dollars. So I'll just go ahead and fill that one in. We got... One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, I'm not in frame. So we got another one, two, three, four, five, five fifty. And this is what? Seven. Does this equal another fifty cents? 40, 50, yeah, 550. So that's another six dollars. I 
let me just double check that there's $12 here. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, <laughs> a dollar, two dollars, three, four, five, six. Yep, $12. So these 50 cent pieces, they don't fit in like the hole at the top. So I have to open it from the bottom to put the 50 cent pieces in. So I'll do that later because that wastes a little bit of time. And this 5 cent piece, I'll just put it back in my wallet until I get enough to... um. make it 50 cents or whatever it's not a big deal all right so the next thing so i have 70 dollars allocated to this challenge plus the change which we've already put in so with this challenge we want to i'm trying to finish off this big one first the 750 so for 70, let's see. I can put, yeah, just the 50 and the 20, I guess. So we can do, yeah, I guess like the three 20s and the 10. So that's 70. I'll do the two fives. All right. And that's it for this binder. All right. So the next binder that I'm doing is this I'm kind of using this one to try and build up our um because like I said we had a three to six month emergency fund set up so I'm using this one to try and build that one back up but I'm also using the savings challenges to build that and the travel fund back up so for the 100 envelope challenge this week, I have $35 allocated. So we'll just do that. So yeah, 20, 30. 35 i'll get the hang of it and then eventually you'll see me all like counting everything like everyone does we'll see how long it takes <laughs> for the 500 dollar challenge i've got 10 dollars allocated to it so we'll just put a 10 dollar bill And then what I do is that, you know, like, once I fill these up, then I'll fill in the bottom. Because I don't have money, you know, we don't have the money to be, like, putting in 25. So, like, when this fills up to, like, 25, then I move it down. Um, I just do what works for us, right? Slow and steady wins the race. For the 750 challenge, I have 20 allocated. And then last but not least, for the $1,000 savings challenge, I have $10 allocated. Wrong color, but whatever. 
we get the point, right? All right. So the next thing I stuff are what I consider like my higher priority savings, um, not savings challenges, sinking funds. So that's stuff that like has to be paid by a certain time. Or things that I find important to me. So I got these um little these cute little thing of me what's it um envelopes I guess from Boss Girl Budgets. So my cats they get five dollars a week, and this is more for like um like if I see a like. I want to buy them a new cat tower and I, I and I do I have two cats and one of them is ginger so that's why I picked this one orange <laughs> um, household <laughs> this is like if we need actually we actually had to dip into this one the other day because my husband broke the damn mop so that one's getting five dollars. Like, how do you break a mop? Anyways, he broke the damn mop. Oops, sorry. So yeah, so this is one of those ones that like we have to pay every year. So like the boat insurance. So I got this cute little tracker from Boss Girl Budget. And every time I fill it in, I put the money in the bank. So this gets $25 a week. Oh, I guess this is one of those. So this is how much we have saved so far in the bank. I got these from the Art of Budgeting. So then here's, so there's $250 towards the boat. Insurance. Um, boat maintenance is also, also gets $25 a week. The boat is more my husband's hobby. He loves to fish. He's a keen, keen fisherman. I, however, am not. All right, so house maintenance also gets $25. And I like using this little tracker. I don't know why. I think it makes it fun for me. And then when this tracker gets filled up, it's like $500 and then I put it in the bank. And I got this from Mama's on a Budget. Car maintenance gets $20 a week. And this is the one that, um, I decided to start, oh no, this isn't the one. I'm confusing myself with something else. Disregard, disregard. Oh yeah, I'm using this one from Carol Cash. 250 in the bank and then another, so 310. I'm not sure how much to cap this at. Because my car is pretty old. You know when you have an old car, but you're too cheap to buy a new one? I mean, there's nothing wrong with my car. It's just got age, you know? But just because you're old doesn't mean anything. So these are low priority sinking funds. This is for me to like... You know color my gray hair <laughs> get my nails done or something I don't know I used to be really into that but in 2023 priorities um took a dump 
So with new phone, I do this like every other week. So we'll skip it this week. I don't need a new phone. So I have an iPhone 11 and it works absolutely fine, knock on wood. But my friend's iPhone 11 like died on her suddenly the other day. So I'm thinking to myself, let me just start saving just in case. So every other cash stuffing, I put something in there. So um, I am putting oops, $5 a week towards a new car. Like I said, it's not a priority at all, but my car is getting up there in age. It's um, 10 years old now. And um, we want to get new tiles put in the house. But I don't and, and I don't even know if that's like an accurate number. I'm gonna leave that for now. So our medical is fully funded and our Christmas is fully funded, believe it or not. Should maybe move some of some of that money around. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So next is my personal binder. And um, ooh, I'm sorry, I keep shaking the table, sorry. And um, I got these again from Boss Girl Budgets. So for hobbies, I put, um, see, the money kept falling out, so I put a little paper clip. So for hobbies, I um, put, oops, $5 a week. I am part of the local corral here. I don't sing very well, but I do enjoy singing. Um, they just put me in the back, ask me to lip sync most of the time. Just kidding, <laughs> they don't do that. <laughs> um, for savings. So this is the one that like, whatever I don't spend in personal, I just put it in here. And I plan to use that money for, um, again, towards the trip. So remember the $15 that I didn't have to stuff in personal? I'll just put it here into savings. And um, the same thing for fun. So fun is for like having drinks with my girlfriends, you know. Um, we like to go have a couple of wines and oysters at the waterfront and stuff like that. So what I, so um, for um, beauty, what I don't spend in beauty, I put here in fun. I'll have to do a cash condensing soon because there's too many bills in here. Um, for my future, I put $5 a week in here. For giving, I put $5 a week. And this is for like, you know, at work when it's like someone's birthday or someone's leaving the job and you know people pitching money to like get a gift for the person who's leaving that's like that so these three <laughs> they don't really have like a purpose purpose but like when she put them out I couldn't not get them you know so um yeah they just get five dollars a week and I'll just read out like oh my god um, so this one is red and when they, um, just get full, I'll just reallocate it to something, um, you know, whatever I feel needs topping up at the time. You know what I mean? But they're just so cute. Like, you don't think they're so cute? 
again, I got those from Boss Girl Budgets. And then last but not least, I do... <laughs> I'm a huge Disney fan. I want to go to Tokyo Disney. So, again, slow burn, slow burn. We got a lot of priorities ahead. All right, so now on to the, the last... The last but not least binder, this the savings challenge binder. All right, so for summer, we're on week five and it's twenty dollars. Probably should have colored that more brown or would you say that sand is more yellow or more brown? I'm also doing Life's a Beach. And that one's getting $5. Yeah, like I said, I just kind of do what I can with these challenges. And then I'll... Like these ones that are like weekly, like that they tell you what to put each weak are tough but these ones that i could be like oh i only have five dollars and then i can like rub these out and then like do a 10 <laughs> they just they make it a little easier when you know because some weeks are higher than others um but, but i try to be true to <laughs> to what's happening so Easter is um, getting 10. I'm going to have to start like bumping this up because we're, we're getting close to Easter. And um, I'll just do one of these ones. How many weeks do we have till Easter? No, we still, no, we still have like five weeks. So I should have enough time to finish this one. Yeah, here's fun house. Yeah, see like how this one you're supposed to do like certain amounts on certain weeks. So fun house week five. This is a challenge from Carol Cash. That uh, this week we get 25. Out of space. This week it's 10. Oops. Oh my goodness, this envelope. There we go. Oh, and this one is we do savings challenge and this gets ten dollars this week so i might do are there any twos left because i don't want to put like coins you know so i try to make it round like a five or a ten or whatever so i might do like two threes and a four how does that sound so we'll do two threes. And a four. Hello, Scooby. And Disney. And Pusheen, the cat. Um, adventure is going to get 10. <laughs> um, here we go. Perfect. Oh, 
Almost done, almost done. Sorry if I'm boring you guys. Weekend away is going to get 20. And this is for um, the America trip. Because, I mean, we're going to spend some time there. It's not going to be just all sorrow, right? Milestone event is going to get ten dollars we for our 10 year wedding anniversary i want to i really want to go see the northern lights um so start saving now right that's how we've done every other trip in the past oh, okay so this one is a game how much do i have left One, two, three, one, two, because I allocated, oh my God, I've already messed up, because uh, I allocated $20 for this, depending on what I roll, yeah, and then whatever was left was going to go, but then where did this 15 come from? I'll figure it out later. But I need to get I need to get some dye. Hold on a second. Un momento, por favor. Where did I where's where's my dye? I have dye. Where is my dye? Oh here it is. Oops. I didn't mean for all that noise. So because I'm on a budget, I don't like say right? I'm on like I legit am on a budget. <laughs> I don't like save each die, but I like to like roll down and follow and then I just end up saving the last one. So I'm just gonna move this over and see what we land on. Alright, so four. So that was two, five, two, one, and three. Okay, so $10 close to that challenge. Oh, I guess I can use this one. All right, so that leaves me with $25. I guess I'll just put it in tiles because we need to tile the house. Maybe I'll put it in something else. You know what? I'm just going to do some research and make sure I didn't skip anything by accident. You know what I mean? And then I'll put it where it needs to go. And then this... Oh my god, I did it again. I'm so sorry. There we go. And then this last envelope is just all the challenges that I've already completed. And then I'll start them again next season. Like, you know, when I need to. All right. So that's it. That was my first cash stuffing with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for all the... Oh my God. For everything that went wrong. Um... But thanks for sticking it out with me and I'll see you next week. Bye.